Hello everyone, welcome back. We're still playing Echo Quest 2, Lost Secret of the Rainforest. And last time we um, ended up in a bat cave with some sort of, um, what's it called again? We, we had to give them some sort of, well, we had to get them leaves, but they, um, man, what what is the word again? Visas. <laughs> they were visas for the bats. And now we ended up here with... Kinda looks like a uh, underground ruin of an ancient civilization thing, and uh, we kind of checked um, checked around. So let's see what we can do here. Um, an ancient, very large bat hangs from the stone perch. He looks a little grumpy. Uh, maybe we can talk to him. You're making me dizzy. Oh, he is very old. Good. How can I listen to you if I'm dizzy? I said, climb up here, speak to me, the manner of the temple priest who's cared, who cared for us. Um, do I want to? I, I think we may want to. All right, so there's, there's a thing next to him. Here. I am Charopter's hand wing. Guardian of the Temple. I'm searching for the City of Gold. Looking for gold? How typical of a human. I can be expected to help with that. No, no, it's not like that. I'm looking for a seedling for a forest heart. She's dying and another must be found. I must help her. That is dark news indeed. Perhaps the time has come for the creatures of the night to part with the secret. Long have we known the way to the city of gold. However, such a secret must be earned. If you dare to face danger, pick up the truth stone. Which is probably that sound there. Oh, that's it. Alright. Let's see if we can pick it up. Adam picks up the truth zone. It feels strangely warm to the touch. Ah, good. Good. Now I must remember what's next. My great-great-great-grandmother often saw the temple priest call forth the black jaguar. It has come become more difficult to do. Men have hunted him and he doesn't come here happily now. Place the stone his statue and perhaps he will answer. Should we put it, put this stone here? The truth stone doesn't belong there. Doesn't belong there. Here? Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, human, these chains are painful. Can you free me? Man's neglect of the forest chains me here. No longer do men heed the simple things of nature. If you remember them, perhaps I will go free. A veil of silk, dress of green, looks to the sun, makes air clean. Um, I think this has to do with the manual again. Veil of silk. Veil of Silk. Switch your memory. Lovely colors that you see used to attract bad and be. I must take my gift away or on this spot I'll have stay. Lovely colors that you see used to attract bad and be. I must take my gift away. That's a flower. Nothing is so far away, yet remains so bright, it shines forth each day without, with its giving light. It's a sun. Yes, you've answered well. Its strength is in its jaws, its size is not so great, but no creature in the forest can lift its size from it as an ant. Pale face upon the earth, a dim mirror of the sun, for the creatures of the night light for work and fun. It's the moon. Green on skin and within, till later in the year, when... Rainbows of colors, bright suddenly appear. Uh, 
green on green and within till later in the year. That's a leaf. Slowly does it slide along without legs or feet as eyes and tongue dart about to find something to eat. It's a snake. Misty veil of dew shades the light of day, sheds its life on earth and washes waste away. Cloud. Wings of color, voice of song, claws of power to this creature belong. Older than the ancient times, hit by light of day, birds that fly by their light plot their course and wing. Bulging eyes and inflated throats fill the air with reverberating notes. Oh, we got it. Yes, you've answered well. Child, I have waited so long to be free. I give you two gifts. The first is a reminder, the second is an ancient token. Remember me and this. All that is gold does not glitter. All that glitters ain't gold. Alright, we got A. The feather of some large bird is dipped in purest gold. We got a gold feather. Um, can we, wait, can we, can we move there? Oh, we can move there. What is this? Adam, wait for me. You must not leave without me. I wouldn't do that, Paquita. I just didn't know where to find you. Look, a boat. Let's borrow it. But first, I kind of want to take a look around. What are you doing? Oh. I do not understand. I feel so terrible. Please, Adam, help me. Yeah, it probably has to do something with uh, green water. A flowing river has hollowed out this large chamber. It was once the entrance to the temple. Uh, the river has hollowed out this chamber over many centuries. An ancient craft is moored here. The little bed lies shivering on the ground. She seems too weak to rise. Many bats block the sunlit opening of the tunnel. They appear asleep. A dark tunnel leads towards an unknown location. Uh, you know, let's head back. Let's talk to the old, uh, the old bat again. Do we have to hang? Oh yeah. Charopter's help, it's Paquita. She's fainted, or sick, or something. Oh, hurry. This is terrible. Terrible. I'll make haste as quickly as these old bones will let me. What is it, Charopterus? Is she going to be alright? Such is the result of the greed of man. It is some illness from the smoke. There is very little hope, unless... I'll do anything to help her. Just tell me, there has to be something I can do. It is said that the fountain of youth is found in the city of gold. The water from the fountain has great power and might save her. Then I'll find it, I will, I promise. Here is the whistle the temple priests use to summon us. It makes a sound that only bats can hear. Blow the whistle when you find the fountain of youth and learn its secret. We will bring Paquita to you. I'll find the fountain, I promise. Bats will always obey this whistle. Uh, Charopter has passed the carved whistle to Adam. Nice, so we are the... Um, Rulers of the bats now? Nice. Um, okay. Can we uh, get into the boat? Adam won't be able to leave until the entrance is clear. Okay, let's use the whistle then. Ah, nice. The, the bats are gone. Right. So, there we go. Oh. Missed me. I kind of want to um, miss me again. kind of want to record some stuff. Ha! <laughs> that wasn't even close. The 
Is it even possible to record there? Uh, oh, bummer. Alright, so quickly. What is this? Cannonball fruit. And uh, Igapo. Nothing else? Alright, so let's swim. We're gonna go south because that's the way we were heading to. There's some more stuff that we can record here, probably. Sorry, Lily. Anything else? No. Um, we can't go there. Okay, let's go back up. Let's go to the east. Oh, you missed me. Oh. Oh, woe is me. I'm Eagle Father. Boo. <laughs> Can we record you? Power monkey. And a piranha. Hey, just stay back, you... You... Human. I'm not long for this world and I don't want any humans around. What are you doing here? I'm stuck. What does it look like? Uh, but there's water all around. Oh, really? I, I didn't notice. Of course there's water. That's why they call it the flooded forest. I was hunting for food when the rains came and stranded me. Right in the middle of the Empress Eagle's hunting ground. And she just loves succulent monkeys like me. At least bring me something to eat. I don't want to die hungry. Um. Do we have something here? I don't think so. It's a golden blossom. Wait. Let's see if we can get something. Uh, there was something in the tree here, wasn't there? What is that? Ripe fruit hangs heavily from the tree. Alright, let's pick up some fruit. Give it to the monkey. Did you get some? Thanks. Now we're heading back. Give him the fruit. Here, catch. You can throw pretty far, Adam. For me? Really? Hey, I don't know what to say. Just eat it, man. Can I go onto the island right now? Can we just go on the island? I guess you can climb up. Thanks. I want that. Adam picks up the piranha, piranha jawbone. Jawbone? <laughs> piranha jawbone. What's with the pronunciation today? I don't know. Alright, so we're heading back to, uh, to here. Yeah, we can go to the left. Right, so... A clump of Victoria lily pads is clustered in here. Can we just cut one loose? Adam saws the stem with the sharp piranha teeth. Um. Nice! We're on it right now. That won't help. Can we go back to the, to the monkey? <laughs> Look at us go! It's so good. Look at this. Cool, huh? Yeah, go to the monkey man. I bet I could swim out of here on that. But I don't think there's room for both of us. Yeah, just take it, man. Come on. Just get it. Here. Gee, thanks. I thought it was toast. But whatever it is, harpy eagles do to monkeys when they eat them. Nobody really knows. 
So are we eagle food now? Well, I guess we are. Dang, we're in a nest. Imposter, you are not our dinner. We were to dine on delicious monkey or succulent sloth. Ha! We do not eat humans. I'm, uh, I'm sorry to disappoint you. We command you to depart. Leave our royal roost at once. You brought me here. All right. First of all, I want to see if I can record you. A harpy. Anything else? Nope. Um. Can we talk to you? Um. We have not given you permission to speak. Oh, I, I, I got a feather. It has been many generations since we have received this sign. We are yours to command. We will bear you on the wind to the city of gold. So you do know where it is. You hold the feather of our ancestor, the first of our kind. Yet the city of gold was deserted by humans long ago. Do you still desire to go? Yes, I must. I, I must search for the Fountain of Youth and the seedling of Forest Hearth also. Let us ride the winds together. Oh, look at them soar. And there's a freaking helicopter with the, the dude. He's following us. Oh. There's some stuff here. Alright, let's see if we can record some stuff here. Uh, Pre-Incan Ruins? Seat of the Inca? Philodendron? Passion Flower? Lake? Mountains? Yeah, I think that's it. So, uh, I think we uh, have to take a little look around. Uh, oddly shaped rock balances on top of the ledge. The mask of a man is attached to the rock. His face has a serious expression. The mask of a woman is attached to the carved rock. A deep gorge has been made in the stone. The marks look recent too. The stone relief is faded and worn. Adam stands on a high ledge. A deep chasm prevents passage into the ancient ruin. The ancient building was partially collapsed. Its toppled walls form a maze of chambers. The room at the top seems largely intact. The water flowing out from the lake forms a spectacular waterfall. A lake behind the ruin glows with a, glows with a strange golden light. A windy hilltop looks over the ruins of an ancient city or temple. The sun shines on the lake beyond and creates a warm golden light. In the middle of the lake, a small island is wreathed by vegetation. Right, so I think uh, we gotta recycle some stuff here. That one, that one, that one. That one. That one. Alright. So I, this looks like something that we're carrying. Uh, the gold mask shows the face of a young girl. There's a funny bulge behind her eye. Can we? No. Oh. It's a heavy round object of purest gold. So the bulge is gone. Okay. So let's just put that back into place. Oh, hey, what is that? What is this? Adam has uncovered a small, very modern magnifying glass. Uh, looking more closely, he sees the initials MS engraved in its silver handle. Who is MS? Alright, let's pick that up. What is this? Inside the panel is a heaping pile of golden discs. Can we pick those up? We can. All the shaped rock balances on top of the, the ledge. Wait, can we, um... 
It reveals nothing. Can we use this on stuff that we have? Oh! What does that do? Kind of looks like a map. Alright. Um, there, that fits. Oh, the rock tilts slightly. Wait, I got more hair gold stuff. The rock tilts so that the passage is clear. Should we go in? I think we probably should go in. That won't help. That won't help. This put. Right, so uh, <laughs> now we're here. We do have a map, but we're going to use it next time. So thank you once more for watching Echo Quest 2, The Lost Secret of the Rainforest. I'll see you next time.